Hi Scorpios, how's it going? This is Truly Divine's channel. Um, if this is your first time checking me out, um, if you're returning, welcome. My name is Amy. So this is um, the first couple of weeks in April. I'm going to do another reading um, probably within the next week. So pay attention and keep your eyes open for that. But let's kind of see what's going on with you guys. Let's um, see what see what it is that you guys need to know so to start off the reading your ochre cord um <coughs> is talking about doubt it says i release the need to know all the answers okay so scorpios something in your life is causing you to doubt um spirit wants you to Go within yourself and, and release the need to know everything. You don't need to know everything. There's reasons for everything. There's reasons things happen to us. So spirit wants you to kind of bring yourself back in. Kind of um, try to stay positive instead of negative when looking at the situation. But let's see what the situation is about. So... We've got the Five of Wands, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups, Justice, Knight of Swords, Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, and we have the King of Wands. So, <clears throat> alright, we have Fire Signs here. Um, that you're dealing with Leo Sagittarius Aries we have cups here so that's you guys Scorpio Pisces and Cancer and we have swords so we have Gemini Libra and Aquarius so any of those signs you're either um, dealing with or they're they're in your life somehow some way that's why the energies are coming in um, so keep that in mind when we're doing this um, reading Scorpios Okay, so I'm just going to take a second and get a feel of what's going on. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys are really sad. You're sad about something. You're feeling um, stuck. You're feeling like this scenario has you... What is the word? Alone? Lost? Broken? You don't feel like yourself? Be careful to not stay in this energy too long. There... There is a need to let go here. There is a need to... run and, and the reason that I say run is because this situation this situation with the four of cups that has you feeling um, all alone and upset and sad. Um, so if this is some type of relationship, I feel like with the seven of cups here, it, it's about choosing wisely. Um, you have the four of cups and, and, and I can feel the energy of being alone and sad and, you know, all up in your head. And then you have the Seven of Cups, and it's over here, and it's like wishful thinking. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you necessarily... Like, okay, wait. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you want, Scorpio. I feel like... You know, maybe it's this relationship, maybe it's more abundance, maybe it's um, a better paying job, maybe it's a nicer house. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like you guys are taking on too much wants in your brain. Um, 
when it, I'm just going to go back. When it comes to this relationship that has you doubting yourself, that has you, you know, really lost and confused and broken. And I feel like you need to clear yourself away from that. Um, because abundance of the good stuff, like, well, abundance is always good, but I feel like the abundance, the abundance of like a new job, a new relationship, a new stability wants to come through, but you're so stuck up in, in this feeling of, you know, being uncertainty and not knowing, you know, which direction to take. And you're doubting, you're doubting your life right now. You're doubting, um, which, which path to take. Um, I feel like the nine of cups is here to tell you that you can move on away from this. You can move on to something bigger and better. You can, um, celebrate, you know, you have an emotional fulfillment. It wants to come through for you. But it's not going to come through if you stay in this Four of Cups kind of energy where you're so, you know, confused and lost and you feel alone and you feel like no one's in your corner. You're all up in your head, right? That's why the Seven of Cups is here as well. You're all up in your brain. You know, you, you're overthinking it. Whatever this scenario is, scenario is, it's got you overthinking it. I feel like you're going, you're going in on it very, um, strong. You have a very strong opinion of the matter. You're very, you're very strong, or they're very strong-willed. Um, neither of you are letting your guard down either. That's what I feel like. I feel like you guys are both ready to go to battle against each other. The question is, why? Why are you both, yeah, why are you both doubting this relationship? Why are you both doubting this chance to make something happen is it fear are you both afraid of you know this might be working this might work because i feel like once you get over this once you get a, get rid of the sadness and this heartbreak and this feeling like nothing is good is going to happen from you, once you figure out, you know, if this person is even right for you, you'll be headed in the right direction. You will find stability. You will find um, abundance. You will find happiness. You will find love. Like, you will be where you need to be, but you won't get here until you get out of this energy of, you know, nothing is happening for me and nothing, you know, nothing is coming through and the things that are coming through are the things that I don't want. But that's doubting, right? That That's not giving the universe a chance to show you. I feel like you just... You've got this armor about you and you're guarded and you're always ready to battle something. You're always ready to defend something or someone. And that's kind of affecting the way that people see you as well. Um, people see you as being, you know, too strong, too strong-headed. So play cautious um, the first couple of weeks of April Scorpios. Kind of don't throw yourself out there really quick and don't come off really, really strong. Because I feel like people are scared of people who are really strong-willed. And I'm not saying don't be strong. I'm saying don't live in that energy of feeling like no one's going to be there for you. Don't live in that energy of, you know, being alone in this universe. That you have no one. Because there are people around you who love you and who care for you and who, like, want the best for you. Um... Also, play cautious to um, anyone around you this month, Scorpio, um, who's hot-tempted. Um, someone around you who is selfish, impatient, 
there's just a really um, tough negative energy coming through. And this is one. So this is Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Aries. So Scorpio, if you're dealing with anyone who's very hot tempted, they just fly off the handle when it comes to certain situations. Um, I wouldn't even bother trying to um, get on their good side for the first couple of weeks in April because they're just... They don't have your highest um, interest at heart. The Justice card is here. This card always represents legal matters. Um, if this is a custody battle um, and you're going through some type of custody issues, I believe that things will come in your favor. Um, I, this could even be a relationship, right? Like, because we do have like the four of cups here in that feeling, and we do have the nine of cups, and the seven of cups, um, and the five of wands. So, this could just be things coming into place for you as well. But I definitely get the sense that this is a legal matter. This is um, a custody battle of some sort. Um, it's also about balance, right? We have to keep everything balanced in our life. The minute something falls off, it it feels like it all crumbles apart. It all falls apart. Um, new cycles coming. New beginnings are coming. And I think that's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Um, but again, I feel like if you stay in this Four of Cups energy, you're never going to get your Wheel of Fortune. You're never going to get those abundances that want to come through, that celebration with the Nine of Cups. You, you won't get it because you're sitting here doubting. You're sitting here doubting the universe. You're doubting spirits. You're doubting God. You're doubting everything. And over what? Like, is this relationship worth it? Is this job worth it? Is this, you know, family situation worth it? Is, is this custody battle worth it? Like, you know what I mean? There's so many different scenarios, but you have to look within yourself and ask yourself, you know, is this scenario worth this heartache? Is this scenario worth the pain, the tears, the sadness, the the feeling alone? Or or do I want to um, move on? Um, Taurus is your Scorpios. I'm gonna end this reading with um, a po or not a postcard from Spirit, an oracle card. So this card talks about being all tied up. going to read what it says for you guys. Okay. This card shows a woman tied up with vines around her wrist, wrist, body, and arms. Receiving this card upright represents a situation in your life where things seem to be severely stuck. A major drama may be going on around you, stopping you from moving forward, or it may be that some technicalities are blocking your way. Perhaps you're waiting for a contract to be signed or an agreement to be made. Whatever is holding things up, the restrictions may be feeling quite oppressive at this time. If this is technically the case for you, what's trying you up, tying you up is your own personal stuff. Look at your life and see how you can be your own jailer. Are you trying yourself up? Um, uh, in some emotional angst or in a negative habit that you refuse to deal with. If so, it's time to cut the vines and make some serious changes now. You didn't need to live in your self-imposed jail any longer. So, that makes a total, like, a lot of sense, right? You guys are living in this, like, jail state where, you know, you're behind closed doors. You're behind a jail cell. And it's more of your mind and your your feelings that you're locking up, that you're not letting out you know you, that's why you feel so alone that's why you feel so broken because you're not communicating and if you are communicating and they're not um they're not matching you they're not matching your efforts they're not matching your emotions then they're not the ones for you that you're wasting your time you're you're putting all this time and energy in someone that's not even giving it back to you so you're keeping yourself all tied up right scorpios let me know how it you know how this resonates with you hit me up in the comments like subscribe if you haven't 
know that I'm sending you guys all love and light. Um, you will get through this. We will get through this together. Um, keep your eyes open for my next um, kind of mid-April reading so we can see what else is going on or get a more depth. But um, take care, guys, and know that I love you.